Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of this is episode 15, right? I think I can't believe it's been 15 episodes already. Yeah, last episode was a tra tragedy. They basically, ma our mom passed away. Basically, a uh, blood mage was experimenting on her, and like, yeah, it was, it was tough to even look at, fam. Anyways, anyways, let's continue on with the main quest. We have only one quest remaining. Uh, uh, the following the cune. A letter from Viscount arrived recently. It must, it must concern a matter of importance to Kirkwood. Okay, so I have to look at our writing desk. Where's my writing desk? That's not the writing desk. Yeah, inside job. Wait, what? There, there might be another quest, maybe? I found a lead on our cargo theft and have urgent need of your expertise. Please meet me in the high town market during business hours, Herbert. Oh? Should I? That's another quest, I feel like, yeah? Okay, this is the following the queue. Sarah Garrett Hawk, please come speak to me and only me. In my keep, it, it is a matter of utmost privacy and urgency. And I trust it is no one else. Why can't do more? Okay. Let's see. Oh? Wait, there's more. I didn't... S okay, there are some... Okay, there are some companion quests as well. Okay, we, we'll finish these two first then. Captain's condolences. Oh yeah, it's it's about our mother's death. Yeah, let's finish those first. My lord. No, we should have gone. Yeah, we should have gone to meet Varric first. Yeah, I think I should do that. Then we will come to the Viscount's Keep and continue the main quest from there. Hello, Varric. What's up? And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges. SMS still. <laughs> Have you got a minute, Varric? Of course, Hawk. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. Yeah, what's up? I hear you and the Ravani have something going. So, what's going on, Hawk? You're jealous? Well, 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 I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. Hawk, <laughs> I know I'm damn near irresistible, but you're just too high maintenance for me. Sorry. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Isabella is a great girl, but I think you're likely to get hurt. By which I mean stabbed and left for dead. Uh, that sounds perfect for <laughs> In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, <laughs> point taken. <laughs> like okay, so it's about Isabella. Wait, she's right next to me. Okay, hope. Hopefully, you didn't hear that. Once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurricane. Very so much. Okay, let's go to Viscount's Keep and meet Aveline. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. family. <laughs> Hello, Avalon. Yeah. I don't care what else is going on. 
We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I have a smile on my face. That should be enough for most people. That doesn't work on me. I knew her too. I want to think my mother was like her. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? Yeah, why not? We've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. <laughs> that big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. Aww. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. That's I had to sweet. take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Thank you for that. Drink? Yes. I could use one. As much or as little as you want. No one tells you how to mourn. And when someone says, move on, you take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her Aww. too. Thank you for that. That's wholesome. She is wholesome. The, the entire story about Avili, like the... So far, it's all... The, the one word I would use to describe it is wholesome. <sighs> okay, inside job. Speak to Herbert about missing shipments. He's in the high town market by day. Should I do this? Yeah, it's a secondary job. Yeah, let's do that. It's not a side quest. Let's hop on to Fenris's mansion and check on him first. Because I haven't gotten any cutscenes with him. I feel like he's... Like, I don't know. It's been a while since I... Talked with him. Or even interacted with him. Like, not just talk. Hulk. No. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Be grumpy then. Good. Carry on. Come to me, and I'll take you to places you what? can never be. Isabella, are you talking <laughs> to Bianca? <laughs> I think she deserves to feel a woman's touch on her trigger, don't you? <laughs> Bianca responds to my touch. She'd never give it up for you. That's what they always say, and I always prove them wrong. Stop it. You're confusing her <laughs> and me. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Sorry about that. Had a long day. You got my letter. Hello. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering saw to divulge who is behind the theft. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. It's from Lothering. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall 
every piss pot from your past. That's the problem with being a big fish in a small pond. I could never tell the little fish apart. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Luthery. Okay, I'm ready to go. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Okay, Sabine. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! Okay, no need to get violent. He yeah. can't talk with a mouthful of broken teeth. Please, Miss Sir, help me. I knew you since you was young and lothering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, Monsieur. A slothering folk should stick together. Why did you do what it? What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends. No. Well, we lived in a hovel. People spit on us. And some days, we went hungry. I understand, but... It was hard to leave Lothering. Talk to me so we can put all this behind us. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. No, I would... My life's not worth much but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. <laughs> Could you pay Hubert's back? Hubert's yeah. first love is gold. You must have some squirreled away. I'll tuck some coin away for the future. But if it buys me a future out of prison, Hubert can have it. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Oh. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment, but make sure you have the coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Okay, no. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. No, but we are letting him go. What is this symbol? Sabine will make this right, yeah. Sabine will pay you back if you let him go. Oh, really? I'm more inclined to beat the coin out of this sheep's swallop and then kill him. He's nothing, you bear. Take his offer and cut him loose so we can get back to business. Fine. Get me your ill-gotten coin before I change my mind. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. I like that woman's voice for some reason. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make the rushes pay. No. Oh. Hello. I'll deal with this.
<laughs> that was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Oh? Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. They're attacking so me. your organization is behind this. We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Who's Brecker? Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Okay. Time to meet the Brecker. Give Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Inside shop. Meet who? Meet Lily. That is that how? <laughs> how you pronounce it, Lily? That's a fancy way of writing Lily. Leave area. Celebrate your love affair with a written dedication. <laughs> it's friend fiction. I do it out of love. I will never <laughs> ever be clean again. Uh, friend fiction. Right, hello. Wait, she's dead? One of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? She's dead. Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. <laughs> this is a case of the right hand not knowing what the left is doing. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying, I'll find yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. We have to get to the bottom of this. Now. Summer, she's dead. Just like that. Okay, Brecker's hideout. Let's. Turn up your purses, Gertwall. The leases of Javara's tin top are up for grabs. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, give me a moment, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we are looking for Brecker. <laughs> Whoever that was. Holy sh... <laughs> that would have killed me. What did you say?
This is the same building we <laughs> been. <laughs> this is where the Kunari got like decapitated, and it's the same thing. Hello, like Brecker. I've you must be Brecker, and Hello. you're that lice covered refugee. Hey, isn't that Andy's voice? You'd better leave the bone pit shipments alone. Understand? You're making demands of me. You own half a stake in a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. Down. Oh, there's another person. I saw me. Where are they coming from? from? Out. You. Well, the Brecker is long gone. Ooh, and even war boots. I don't think I can wear them. Oh. I can't do that. Journal. Return to Herbert with the next news of Brecker's death. Herbert is in the High Town Market by day. Okay. Eric, can, can you do that? Not likely. Isabella. Only that were possible. Nope. Dang it. This was just a menial ta menial quest, which is. Doesn't have supply with any more law or story, just a extra fight. Hello. The thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. Okay. Sell all the junk. Thirty-five. That's enough, right? Okay. Now what? Let's continue on with the main quest, following the cune. Yes. Hello, Mr. Viscount. Wait, what is? Alumina oh, I'm not gonna even read that. S some accords, okay. More we'll stuff to read later, codex updated. Nice. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. Oh? 
What do you mean? It is my son. Oh, Jesus. right. <laughs> the life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk. Convince Seamus to. Come How up. can I convince him? They accept humans? Yarishok says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions. I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. Does anyone else know? Does anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are delicate. Mm -hmm. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Ahawk. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. Yeah. I want to let him find his way, but in my position. He's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At what? best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Kanari hands. At worst, I lose my son. Okay. And if he won't come? Dragging your boy out of the compound won't help matters. I cannot leave him there. I hope... You can convince the Arishok that this will only inflame the situation. He hasn't been quick to see reason to this point. It is a hope. I am still allowed that at least. Okay, so we are to convince Viscount's son. So much these main quests. Please keep it quiet, Sirrah. Oh? The Viscount mustn't be disturbed. You have the same voice as the Viscount. <laughs> okay, but... Go to the Kunari compound by the docks to see if Seamus went there voluntarily. Okay. That boy really wants to <laughs> be with the Kunari, huh? What? Who the heck are you? He's not where we. Anti-Canari, anti-Viscount, or Seamus himself not wanting to be rescued. <laughs> Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. <laughs> uh, even he sh he's making jokes. Hello. Go without me. I need a stiff one. And a drink. Oh, right. Forget about her. Yeah, let's bring out. Let's bring out. Uh, Fenris. Wanna see? At least, maybe like you know, after I, we got him into the party, maybe there's some conversations to be had. Hope the Arishok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. Mhm. Mm Hello. Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Kune. 
They hunger for purpose. Uh -huh. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Okay. Exactly what we need. Exactly what Confessing we need. The Viscount's son, his opposition will have a field day. Um, the enemy of your enemy should be your friend. I don't fear the whole of them together, and it is not my role to reject the free choice of Vidathari. Vidathari, what is that? To his own demand of the cure, he is neither my slave nor my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. Oh, what? That probably could have been mentioned earlier. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. Oh? I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a person. Yeah, what the fudge? Oh, it's no, that... We know who would. Mother, Mother Patrice. Patrice, yes. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Oh, okay. Let me handle this. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. Okay. The Dathari are of the Kuhn. This offense will have an answer. Oh, okay. Things are getting heated up. I feel like they're gonna attack at any point now. I mean, they have good reasons. At Not good reasons, but they have some reasons. Chantry at night, really? Oh... Wait, she, he's dead? you have done to pounce upon the Viscount's son a repentant convert in the Chantry itself a crime with no excuse uh-huh your Kunari masters will finally answer I feel like they're gonna kill you how does this help All anything this do is make people hate you I have kept the fear of the Kunari fresh in every sermon every prayer they will know whose word to believe <laughs> When people learn of this attack, they will rise. Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority. Great plan. Until people start dying in a war with the Canari. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. I want to kill her. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> the righteous mob, huh? Oh. Let me level you up. My bad. Holy shit, it's all common people, what the heck? Like commoners. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. 
It is as you predicted. All too well. <laughs> She's onto you, Patrice. Quick, lie harder. <laughs> Don't you spout your Kunari filth. This is a hand of the divine. I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Oh, she's the hand Vicar of the divine. Mars' son is dead, killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that, Patrice. Seamus Dumas was a Canary convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. Love <sighs> or hate the Canary, a blind nug could see she took this too far. No price is too much when we speak of eternity. Mm -hmm. Eternity is long enough that we need not rush to meet it. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sir Ahawk, you stand with the Captain of the Guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? Hello. <laughs> oh. Wait, did she, did she know the Grand, grand Cleric? Did she know there was a Kunari waiting for... Holy shit! We protect those of the Kuhn. We do not abandon our own. Okay. But she knew! She knew! Please. Send for Viscount Dumas. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry if I am. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? <laughs> the Arishok is still here, Excellency. You must be ready to stand up to him. I cannot. I have already failed where it mattered most. I'm sorry. Please. Hawk. Leave me. Okay. <laughs> this is just sad. This entire... This entire story feels like a tragedy. Weren't exactly ease tensions. The Viscount's son and Canary aggression, even if justified, mm -hmm. it won't end. Hawk, I thought this could wait, but I need to speak to you at your home very soon. Okay. Tempest. Let's go with that.
Okay, demand of the kiln. There's someone waiting at your mansion with important news. That's probably Avalyn. To catch a thief. Talk to Isabella at your high town mansion. Oh wait, there's people are waiting on me. What the heck? Yeah, let's leave. Let's save first. Hook estate. <coughs> this is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. <laughs> What drink should I order, and who's the father? <laughs> oh, oh, you little... Are there any good seats left? <laughs> Hawk, the Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help oh my so God. this get out of hand. It... I'm going to die. Wait, what? There. Got your attention? Yes. Real problem. Yes, please. Start over. I heard Arashok and die. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. Oh. What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. <laughs> Who are the fugitives? Isn't it odd that someone would run to the Canari. They're elves accused of murder. Maybe they feel they've nothing to lose by fleeing the alienage. I mean, that's a good... And if their conversion is genuine? I don't know. But how many more will try if I allow this? Justice must be respected. What will happen? You're expecting trouble. After what happened to the Viscount's son? Yes. I'm hoping the Canari aren't looking for a fight. I'm hoping they'll be reasonable. But we'll see. Why come to me, yeah? This seems like an issue for you and your guards. Quite a few of them. Sending a full patrol would just increase tension. But you're right. I am the captain. It's my responsibility. But I suspect the Viscount was hoping I would bring this to you. Then he should have come himself. Perhaps. But it's understandable that he's not at his best. Mm -hmm. I'd like to help him if I can. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Description book? of the book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I I know it's a book. But that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. Okay, we help with Sibella first. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Well... The exchange is happening tonight in a low town foundry. I think Isabella might be, like, not telling sure everything. Oh, we are here. The champion was asked to go to the Canari? I suppose you think he planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short, but nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. 
Oh. Okay. Things are getting out of hand, I feel like. What the heck? What's this relic is all about? Hello? Yes, yes. It's very shiny. Uh huh. That big tower in the lake is scary. What? He means the gallows. I quite agree. That big tower in the lake is scary. Lake? He means the gallows. I quite agree. Could I have some salamanders, please? Don't do it. That's where the boom comes from, I think. Okay. Okay, let's meet Isabella. Uh, she she said she said basically the uh, what's uh, the relic? Her relic has been like you know found, and we had to choose between Aveline and Isabella. So, but we I chose Isabella to like first do that, like find the relic first. And apparently, it said I mean she said it's a matter of life and death. So you know might as like we should focus on that even the even though the city like you know <laughs> is in peril okay okay uh where's varic yes catch a thief yes Okay. Accompany Isabella to the lost end foundry to inter intercept the relic. Oh, it's the other way. Oh. Dogs? Of all things? Why do I have to shoot dogs? Oh, I'm dead. What the? Where are they? Really? What are you doing? What is this guy doing? <laughs> There's a fight going on. Have them in hold? No, right? They are following me. Right? Yeah. Dog Lord. Oh. Free drinks for the guards. But accept and you wake up in the alley. <laughs> Oh, right, the rusty metal spike district, my favorite part of town. Can we leave now? What? Wait, what?
10. Is that the same stand? No, right? Maybe there's a different stand? If the Arashok asks why we killed his men, we'll say it was an accident. Uh, yes. About that. The oh. Arashok to the Canari, and there's a small chance they want it back. <laughs> you knew it all along. You kept this from me. I didn't want to bore you with the messy details, that's all. You're the picture of kindness, Raveni. The relic is a Kunari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzlin, oh. whatever his name is. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirk. Wait, you're the reason? can't leave without it. All of this could have been avoided. <laughs> you stole the relic? You steal the relic from the Kunari. The Arashok never had it. The Orlesians did. They had plans to return it to the Canari. I simply had to waylay the Orlesian convoy before it met up with the Arashok and his men. Getting the relic was easy. Getting away from the Canari was the hard part. What about the shipwreck? I thought you and the Canari were caught in a storm. The storm was only half of it. I also had the Canari dreadnought stuck to my behind like a bad rash, spitting fire and thunder at me. Return it at Kunari would go. Back would solve Aveline's problem. It couldn't hurt. Says you. I know it will save my skin. Ah. Oh, why can't this be as easy as you? <laughs> you stole the relic. How did you steal the relic from the Kunari? No, I, yeah, I asked that question. Getting the relic was easy. Getting away from the Kunari was the hard part. Why would anyone besides the Kunari want Yeah, this it's relic? a book. The Tavinta Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for centuries. If the Tavintas get the relic, it will strike a blow to Kunari morale. That's probably what the mages want. Yes, so much. All over this. Sounds like the Kunari take their reading very seriously. Is there anything the Kunari don't take seriously? Look. The book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. There's more at stake, but... Well, the Arashok waited this long. Oh, I don't know. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. This is. <laughs> is it right for me to just. Well, it's her decision. She can either return it, I mean, give it back to. She can either return, I mean, give it back to Cassian or give it back to us. She, if I give, if, if I give her the relic, you know, it, it will be her decision, not mine. That's what I'm hoping for. Please. Or maybe it's, there's a different way, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not. <laughs> this is, what should I do? What should I do? You know, I'm trusting. I'm trusting Isabella, right? That's a that's not a budget budget. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Yeah. Really? I wasn't expecting that. It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Don't make us regret it. Come on, we've no time to waste. Maybe when the Cassian guy gets the relic, maybe the Kunari would leave. will not fall into defender hands blood and spite a toss canary he's getting away isabella Just 
try this. Another stand, okay, there's multiple stands, that's good. Okay, please let it be a good end. Like, <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> Did I just abandon the city because of it? Oh, wait. He's dead. Well, I eat Sam. It's the Bella's letter. Dear Hawk, I had the relic and I'm gone. I'm sorry it has to be this way. You've been a loyal ally. But this is the best for us both. You promised me the le relic. And I know you'll fight Castian for me, but I don't want this. I've dragged you too far into this mess already. You don't have to forgive me, but I hope you understand, Isabella. She's gone. She took it. That bitch-born whore. Well, now we get to deal with the Arashok and the fugitives ourselves. That's good. That's enough. Let's go to the compound. Yeah. It's fine. I'm pretty- we'll have to fight the Anashok maybe? Like, you know, that's the worst that could happen, right? We're, g we're gonna kill an Anashok. Anashok is the leader of Kunari, right? Of course, we have more. Okay. Oh, he's still here. What the heck? Well, ain't you moving up in the world? Hello. People talk, you know. I hear you got a right fancy nest in High Town now. Nice step up for a dog lord. So much. It's fair you share some of that good fortune with those of us still hurting, no? You can do better than this. I was a refugee when I came here. If I could turn my luck around, so can you. I hear you fought through half the Darkspawn Horde to come back with them treasures. I don't got that in me. Not anymore. All I got is the thirst and the dust. Okay. That was random. Yes. Okay, demand of the queue. This is the big thing, right? Okay, I can't believe we are doing this. That's the main quest, right? Demand of the queue. Go with Evelyn to the Kunari compound by the docks. She expects trouble, so finish any pressing business first. There's nothing. Side quest. Eh, they don't matter. Okay, I'm gonna save. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut the episode here and start a new episode and. 
Yeah, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.